Well, it's official. Lincoln gave the order last week, and this week McClellan actually receives that order. He is no longer the commander of the Army of the Potomac. Hello and welcome to Civil War in Hindsight. I'm Lieutenant Tommy. With me, as always, is Prospector Johnny. And Johnny, I see that you got yourself a fancy new coat. Did, That's come, right. did it come I, with the uh, land? Did you? It, well, uh, it, it did, yeah. It was part of the purchase. Um, they just threw it in. I don't know why. I paid a nickel for the, the land and everything. Um, <laughs> there you and go. They just gave me their coat off their back, too. Uh, which is great. And then I got a new shirt also, but that's part of the celebration because McClellan's gone. Yeah, McClellan's gone. Uh, Get yourself a fancy new shirt to go and out so, and yeah, I thought So, yeah, I thought I'd uh, celebrate, maybe uh, dress up a little bit for uh, uh, this episode. Who knows? Maybe the rest because this is my uh, only other outfit. So. Only other outfit. No. You got that one and the other one. All right, now so, I got two. Now I got two. Uh, all right. Uh, uh, this week's going to uh, open up at 11.30 p.m., Johnny, on November the 7th. An unnamed officer from Washington was able to catch up to McClellan at Rectortown, Virginia, where he is now officially <laughs> removed from command. Uh, Burnside did, did this year. 11.30 like, at night. Yeah. Uh, when Burnside, you know, Burnside's there in the, you know, in that in that area, too. He gets command. Oh, I'm there. Oh, I don't want that. Do I have to take it? They're like, well. Uh, oh. You've oh, no. been named by the president. So he's like, and, oh, well, this is awkward. Oh, it's a little awkward here. Yeah. Uh, and so he I, I, he was what? Like at a camp or at a tavern or yeah, something? Yeah, he's at his like, headquarters. He yeah, he's at his yeah, headquarters. Sitting on his thumb, probably. probably yeah, probably. Uh, reportedly, McClellan is shocked and upset. But uh, <sighs> but of the order, he said. Well, and how I quote, can he be shocked? He's not. He is like. Done, he's yeah. just gone against order after order after order. And he's surprised that he's getting fired now? Like, what? Like, Name a job where you can just disobey your boss like eight times and, and still have a job. Keep it. Yeah, yeah. Well, he uh, of the order, he reportedly said, and I quote, I am sure that not the slightest expression of feeling was visible on my face. And as uh, the rumors I've heard says quite the opposite, uh, he was fighting back the tears. Uh, that's yeah. not you know, necessarily factual, well, but I'm going to go mean... ahead and say that he was, he was being a little, maybe a little crying you know, little bitch. That's what I'm going to go ahead I... and say. I feel like if you have to go out of your way to say, no, 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 I wasn't showing any emotion at all. You probably were showing emotion. You are probably showing a little bit of emotion. Probably showing a lot of emotion. Probably, you know. probably, probably showing a lot of emotion. No, I'm, I'm not crying. It's just raining on my face. <laughs> <laughs> also on the seventh, Johnny Rosecrans is continuing his pursuit of Bragg as his army is now moving uh, to Nashville, Tennessee, uh, in, oh, in that nice. general direction of the Confederates. There, we've got you know Rosecrans just replaced a uh, 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 Buell not that long ago. He's now got mm -hmm. his army reorganized and has now got his army on the move. Uh, and hopefully, okay. uh, it won't take Burnside too terribly long to get his army on the move. I mean, ducks that are ducks are getting in a row. Ducks here, are getting Johnny. in a row, Johnny. Uh, mm, We're getting there. Might be a, a Christmas present. Might war. be a Christmas present. Yep. Uh, by the 8th, the Army of the Potomac is aware that their new commanding officer is good old Burnsides. Okay, so yeah, the whole, the the whole news army, trickled yep. down. It's trickled down. Orders have been given. Orders have been received. Uh, news has now officially carried on its way. Uh, in Tennessee, and I'm sure that everybody's thrilled. Yes. Uh, now <laughs> they get to go and fight and die instead of walking around the countryside. <laughs> doing nothing. Oh, shoot. Uh, in Tennessee, Grant is doing reconnaissance from LaGrange in his preparation for his Vicksburg campaign. So basically right now what Grant is doing is trying to see a what uh, what what, Vic, what, you know, what what does it look like? What what are the troops positions? Yeah. What's the best approach? How do we uh, okay. how do we go about taking the last stronghold there on the Mississippi? Yeah, it's a little reconnaissance mission type uh, reconnaissance. type deal here. Get some info. Uh, there are going to be some skirmishes near Gallatin, Tennessee, Burksville, Kentucky, Mariana, LaGrange, and Cove Creek, Arkansas. So a little, okay. little bit of skirmishing everywhere. And down in the Department of the Gulf, Dictator Butler is going to close down his breweries and distilleries uh, within the department's zone of operation mm -hmm. and then immediately be relieved of his command. <laughs> With the department being turned over to General Nathaniel Banks because Butler has had one too many <laughs> questionable things up to this point of his leadership in 
Uh, yeah. Nolans. And since the week shorts, I'm going to I'm going to summarize some of it. Uh, when he gets down there, uh, he seizes a bunch of Confederate guns that were made out of church bells, Confederate cannons that were made out of church bells. He seizes yep, those, yep. ships them over over to the uh, east. I think it was to Boston, I believe, uh, where they were auctioned off. Um, uh, so that yeah. that's not bad. Uh, that's actually pretty. No. That's fun. Yeah, that's actually I mean, take, ironically yeah. fun. I, I, I like that part. Uh, although Do then that. he immediately like raided a bunch of warehouses and found. Uh, the stolen gold from the Nolans Mint, which isn't, which also isn't bad, although the legality of how he broke down doors and found the stuff is a little questionable. And then the amount of I, money I'm sorry, that, Tommy. Are, well, are we in it. a time of peace? Is that no, what we're doing no, here? But, like, we're following laws? But, but the amount of money that was reportedly found versus the amount of money that was at the Nolans Mint and what hmm. possibly could have been spent are... Ah, I mean... Hey, you know what? You find a treasure. You keep a little bit. Take of... a little top, a little bit off the top. Just a little, just a little, little scoopsy just, here. Little just a little whoop. Uh, he in my then... pocket. And uh, oh, here's this treasure I found. Yeah, he then started arresting women for prostitution if they oh, spoke out okay. against well, his army. There's that. We forgot about that one. If right? they what? If they spoke out against him or his army or his officers, like if they. So not first... actual. Prostitutes. No, but he would he would arrest them Just, for prostitution. That's what they yeah. would be arrested for. Yeah, they, as that's ladies of the night, if they uh, if they ill, Ill spoke against their uh, against well, their and I'm sure. There. But he, to be fair, I'm sure the army was giving these uh, women no reason to speak ill of them. I'm no. sure they were all well behaved gentlemen around. No, them. he uh, he made everybody have to carry around papers uh, and present their papers. Uh, 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 to, oh yeah, to the officer. Oh yeah, to the officers <laughs> uh, in order to to go in and out of the town. Uh, he he freed the slaves okay. right. of I any mean, on, any any non like if they were a rebellious slave owner, the slaves were freed. If they were simply pathetic to the north they were allowed to keep their slaves so how many of those slave owners and I, i'm sure you're shocked how many slave owners are sympathetic <laughs> just, to the north yeah there's so in, many, that so many. In, in that area just yeah, in that in area though. yeah yeah, yeah there's, there's 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 that <laughs> uh, in fact his reign here got to the point where um it wasn't uncommon for his yeah. his likeness to be put inside a chamber oh, no. pot for the local townsmen to purchase and then pee in Two, because that's what you do with chamber pots, and that's actually kind of funny. I want to kind of buy it on his face. So that's that's that's, uh, and then now, of course, he made it illegal to sell, transport, or manufacture uh, alcohol there. So, I mean, that's what are you doing here, bud? Uh, so, yep, yeah, I get, I get it. Okay. A little, a little I, dictatorish, I, I, yeah. Little confused that that was the last straw. Um, seems like maybe the camel's back should have broken a couple straws ago, but, you know. <laughs> hey, uh, we're there. We're there, right? Yeah. It ha- you know, we we get there eventually. That's kind of the theme here. With firing McClellan, with uh, firing uh, o- O'Doul, who was it? Du- uh, uh, whatever this face was. Parker? Porter? Uh, the other guy? Pa- something with a P. Yeah, the other dude that... Yeah. I don't know. Oh, Buell. Uh, Buell. You're talking about Buell. Buell. Yeah, Buell. Buell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, not, yeah. Uh, yeah, but, you know, we get there eventually. They, they, they mess up. They do their thing. Whatever. We get, yeah, we do. We get, eventually, and, eventually, we get there. Yep, 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 yep. Um, and you know um, what? Actually, uh, I feel like it's a little odd. It was Lincoln the one that relieved him of his duties, or was this? Yes, and he's else? he's going to be replaced. Yeah, he is Lincoln, and he's going to be replaced by General because, Nathaniel Banks. Um, he it seems to me like he's just taking pages out of Lincoln's book here, <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Like, Oh yeah, suspen- yeah. There's a suspension <laughs> like of habeas little- corpus that was down there too. But like that, that Lincoln had already kind of did that. Lincoln's like, oh, that's fine, that, man. That's, whatever. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Who cares yeah. about that? <laughs> yeah, well, did it, did it up here? Uh, now, you, you made tell, alcohol uh, illegal. You can't have that. that. <laughs> uh, now, Lincoln is going to uh, inform General Banks, the new, the new commander of of that Nolans area, uh, and he's going to say, "Look, our priority is the Mississippi. I want trade open back up on the Mississippi." So. Sure. That's what you need to be doing. Don't worry about like era paper bits of crap and uh, and be yeah. showing papers and all that. Get get the Mississippi. Yeah, we don't need trade. that. We want that. <laughs> yeah, we want just... that sweet sweet money. Yeah. yeah. On the ninth, Johnny Burnside uh, has taken operational control of the Army of the Potomac, and one of his cavalry officers, an Ulrich Dahlgren, is gonna uh, make a sensational dash into Fredericksburg, Virginia. It's like ah, doing a little raid down there into Fredericksburg, Virginia. So already under Burnside's command, the Army has done more with raids than McClellan has done. Over he's at, he's been a, he's been in official command for 24 hours, and he's already has a raid into Fredericksburg, where 
<laughs> you had McClellan, who hadn't really done anything since Antietam. And that was what, like two months ago? Three months ago? Like, it was forever ago. Now I mean, good time. God. I, 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 I forgot Antietam ever happened. It's been so long. Right? It's been so long. Like, bloodiest battle ever, and it's already <laughs> forgotten. <laughs> On the 10th, the Army of the Potomac cheers as McClellan rides away officially off into the sunset where he is no longer doing <laughs> anything. Yeah, they're cheering him. So no, they didn't uh, like the general, him at all, even. Wow. What well, they, well see, so what, 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 if it depends on who you re- talk to. So right now, they're cheering. Oh, they might have been cheering for it. Like, uh, very, yeah, uh, like hip hip huzzah job, hooray for thank McClellan. You, whatever. Uh, yeah, yeah, he was a very... Popular Why commander not? with his men, and it, as it was reported, and the men, as it was reported, quote, uh, they were wild with incitement. They threw their hats into the air and cheered their old commander as long as his escort was in sight. Now, there's two ways to read into that, uh, mm-hmm. looking from an outsider's perspective. There's the first way that he was a loved commander, and they're like, yay. And the other way is more like, mm. yay, <laughs> he's finally been fired. Uh, yeah. You know, I'll bet they were just tired of walking. <laughs> Maybe. Moseying about, just got bored Moseying with it. Moseying about. Yep. yep, 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 yep. Anyways, on the 11th, uh, it would be rather quiet with only a couple of military demonstrations at New Bern, North Carolina, and a skirmish in, uh, skirmish at Jefferson, Virginia. On the 12th, uh, we're going to continue to be quiet with only a minor skirmish at Stones River in Tennessee. Couple quiet. It's kind of a short week, like I said. And Johnny, this week is going to yeah, come to much. an end on the 13th with Confederate General Bragg moving his army from Chattanooga, Tennessee, towards Murfreesboro to try to link up with Breckenridge while the Union mm. sees valuable rail centers at Holly Springs, Mississippi. So, okay. All right. Looks like action starting to kind of build up back out to west in the Tennessee, Mississippi yeah. region. So, we'll see how that all plays out next week. But the biggest note. Of this week, Johnny, is that uh, McClellan is officially out, and Burnside's officially in. That's it for this week in Civil War in Hindsight. If you enjoy Civil War in Hindsight, check out Historic Hindsight. We're talking about all kinds of fun things, like uh, like how witches got hung for having wearing black clothes that had holes in it for reasons. Or, you know, hey, check out our stuff that we're doing with guns. Shooty, shooty, bang, bangs. Pew, pew, pew.